Yep. Back out. But this time, I'm not camping. Just wandering. I'm out for me, um, me daily exercise allowance. You can't go wild camping up a hill or a mountain. You can't go where there's nobody around on your own. You can't do that in your tent, you know, like uh, when I go camping, when there's no lockdown, I never see anybody. It's very rare. You go in the Chevy tonight, you never see people. But you're not allowed to do that. But you can go to Tesco's and uh, B&Q, you can go to the tip and you can go everywhere where there's loads and loads of queues of people. But you can't go out on your own. Isolating in your tent. It doesn't, it doesn't actually make sense that, but what can you do? We'll have to do what we're told, don't we, by this government got to do what we're told to do you will not go out anyway I'm not happy had a um, family bereavement just last week and uh, it, it hits you hard been ill for a long time it's been it's just been playing on my mind a lot you know I knew he was ill I knew things were coming to a coming to an end but when it does happen it's just awful man it's awful nobody else has to go through this but so and there's other other stuff going on as well which I'm just keeping it myself but it's just not a good time it's really really not a good time you know for my woes everybody's got the problems I'm just out for a local walk middle of nowhere really I don't know why I'm gone here I've never been here before I'm hoping to find a river so I can just sit by the river, chill out for half an hour or whatever. So anyway, hope everybody's keeping safe. Let's see what brings. This will just be a short video of this. It's doing it on my phone. So from over there, I think it's about a mile. And let's come across this little copse. Someone called the cops. In the hammocks were there, like, you see. Clearing through there. Hammock camping. Middle of nowhere. Really is. You can hear dogs barking, but I think they're miles and miles away. You always hear dogs, don't you? Doesn't matter where you go, you always hear dogs barking. <laughs> the sound travels. Some good little clearings in there, a bit barbed wire to contend with, but it's not. Obviously means keep out, which to a camper means get in. That's the one to think about. Like when I used to do it when you were kids. There's loads of people around. Nobody stays indoors. Nobody. I've, um, well, I'll just say daisies, but I'm sure there'll be somebody out there. Who knows? There's a few blue bells here. Not many. I think time's up in it. The blue bells have had had the day. That's some nice wildflowers here. Abundance of wildflowers. This is a cherry tree. These are wild cherries. They're really early. But the, I thought they would have been here by now. It's normally around about May time they come, but these are a long way off. Wild cherries, you can find them. They're lovely. They're really, um, if you get them nice red, don't be frightened to pick cherries off the tree because they're really, really nice. Just a few. I'll get to come back here. There's loads of them. Back here in a couple of weeks, they'll be ready. Right. 
right, I've turned around. I'm heading that way. That way. And I should be going that way, really. I'm looking for the, the river and the weir. So I'll go back this way. Coming to the weir, sometimes, if you're lucky, and you're quiet, you can see herons stalking. Not stalks, heroning. Herons stalking. Waiting for fish. It's amazing to watch them like, but you've got to be quiet because they just take flight. Fright or flight, both. I've seen a few people. This must be like a walk popular track. I have to find out the name of this place. I haven't got a clue where I am. I know I came in that way. Right. It's just randomly daffodils growing. Going out here, a little clump of them. <laughs> I'm right back into the woods again now on this little track. Never seen anybody else. I don't know where them people went. Look what I found. Some wild garlic. Oh, that's abundant. I don't know if anybody uh, seen Hazy's video where he made the wild garlic pesto with the leaves. That's the leaves there, can't eat them. But because that's right close to the ground there, you can imagine dogs just come along here, trot, 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 squish. No, didn't eat them. Eat the ones that are in there. But they smell mad. Garlic flowers, that's the flower he was on about. You can use that in your salads and I think you need it raw really. Mm. It's really strong. Nice. I like a bit of wild garlic. Let me see if there's any more. I'll get some. I've got a little bag to gather some. This is garlic bloody city. This that's all wild garlic. All down there. That's the way I get it from. Me dogs going down there. There's a big pile there. Look at this. Badger set. That's my foot. Look at that. Imagine if it comes rushing out. Badger set. Might be. It's a bit obvious. Oh, I like it here. R.I.P. Hmm, somebody else. 2050. So in the future, how steep that is. Really steep. This is the. I think it's a little path down. It's like a little handrail there. If I can get to that, this is really steep. I end up on my backside here. Seems stepped. Oh, the smell of the garlic. It's overpowering. It's nice. I like it. Ah. Got me bleeding. Right. So I'm over the. Down the. Uh, I'd step. This is definitely a path leg. It's got little steps. Hard on the knees, but steep. Be coming back up this way. That one. Oh. <laughs> I think it's uh, it's just for the catadoxes. Yeah. All that garlic. Do you know how that just all goes to waste? Nobody picks it. Make pesto, I think, is the most common thing. Garlic pesto. But you can shred the leaves up, put them on your salad, put the put the flour on your salad, just cut them all up. It's nice, man. I feel like onions and garlic, that is. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's the river just there. Down there, get me pie. So, you get in where you think the dogs haven't been. You just pick it. Mmm. Right. It's like eating like 
smell spring onions. A bit like that. Nice. It's a nice taste in your mouth. But you do have to like garlic. Because they're strong, man. They're really strong. Look at this. Like that, man. Nice. <laughs> I'm stuck. My bag, my bag got caught. So we're just going to find that way I can hear it. It's back that way. Hopefully this little path will take us to it. Right, we'll come back at the weir. Oh, took a right risk. <laughs> now try to get down. Like down here, there's a group of drop. And there is paths going down. And I took the first one with a handrail. And it just ended up, it just ran out. I don't know what happened to it. So I come back up. Back up the hill, it was like that. I couldn't get any grip. And I was just hanging on to tree roots to keep keep myself, pull myself up. But of course, I just, uh, I lost my grip and I started sliding back down. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I managed to grab a tree. A lucky stray tree was just there for us to grab onto. I pulled myself up. Oh, I'll do that again. It's really steep. There's no grip on this mud. The paths do not grip your feet. I don't know if it's my shoes. I might need some new trail shoes. A bit more grippy. Found the weir. Just kind of get down to it. It's down there. I hope this, I hope this little track goes down to it. There's not going to be any herons because there's like people there on bikes. People on bikes, man. People, everybody's got a bike now, haven't they? Or they're a jogger. It's mad. It's good, like I suppose. I think after lockdown, people should keep doing it. Keep the exercise going. Does it kind of only be a good thing? Everybody's getting fitter. Apart from me, I'm absolutely knackered. Anyway, well, unfortunately, the path didn't go down to it. There's no path down, it's just over the other side. I don't even know where that is, to be fair. Like, I might have to have a little drive around and see if I can find it. Ah, what a shame. So this is the end of me, end of me um, trek to find the weir. At least I found it. I've just got to find my way back now. I haven't got a bloody clue where I am. I've, I've turned around in circles that many times. I haven't got a clue. Let's have a look on the map. The Ari. View Ranger to the rescue. So anyway. That's it. What, uh, what things you find. I don't know if that was a, I don't know, a bridge or something. Maybe the other side of it. I can't see what's on the other side. That water's about an inch deep. <laughs> I haven't had much rain over. I suppose. It's mad though, isn't it? Look at that. Just a random structure. I'll find out what it was. This is called Hartford Wood. Hartford Wood. It's not far from Blythe. It's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna just find somewhere to stop having my pie. And then crack on. For all day. I mean, no, I haven't. I've got an hour. <laughs> I've only been out 10 minutes. Right, let's have a look down here. It's when you're walking through woods, you see little paths going off. Just take them. You can always find out stuff. This takes you right down to this. So I didn't break my neck. Really steep. It's steep and it's skiddy, muddy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my hands here. Right. But I'm right on it. Right on the river as well. Luckily well. there was creepers. So I just use them to pull us down. Like the step path there. Look at this, oh, this is part of it. I'm gonna have to research this. Ooh, I might do that while I have my pie. Hmm. Right on the riverbank, excellent. I've been trying all that time to get down here. It's good though, I like it. I like it. There's the weir. And then this, this thing here is whatever stone structure it must have been a bridge had to be 
goes across there. Across there, and there's another one there in the trees. It had to be a bridge. I shall find out. Turns out it was to carry the pipes from the sewage treatment works, which is up there. There's a sewage treatment plant up there. And it took the pipes across the river onto the other side and away wherever they went. But when Northumbria Water decided to upgrade all the treatment plants, they did away with all this sort of thing. A lot of the a lot of the metal pipes going across rivers are gone now. They just left the stone structure. I mean it's nice to look at, it's not doing any harm, is it? And the weir there was there's a reservoir further back. Apparently they let water out sometimes and it can get really wild here. But I think they, they warn people before they do that. Aye, interesting. Old though. Like before like 1950s, something like that. Like, it, looks like, it looks a lot older, doesn't it? 1950s. But that's this that's the uh the mystery, right? I'm just gonna have a, a little break, have a little pie. Chicken and gravy pie, they're lovely them. Cold, hot or cold, lovely. This though, you'd be familiar with the old gorse bush. See the gorse? It smells coconut. You can use that with your doesn't really taste the coconut like. Testing out. Um, but you can put it in. I suppose you could mix it up and put it in salad, but look at the thorns. Watch for them big, big thorns there. They'll do you some damage. Anyway, I'm nearly back to my starting point. So this concludes me. My little walk, my little pick me up. If I don't answer the comments, I'll just, um, you know, I've got a lot on my mind at the moment, so. Just, uh, I'll be back below back to normal. You always are, aren't you? You always come back from everything, no matter what. Sweet. Catch you later.